Hey everybody, I uh, just recently picked up um, this Roberts 770X uh, Real to Real um, on Facebook and I've been tinkering around with it trying to uh, clean it up and uh, it it all worked when I bought it, so which is great and I'm not a, an expert in this so I, I had to kind of, I'm kind of learning as I go on these reels but um, Again, it, it, it all works. Uh, it's these are uh, mid sixties. This this is the all tube um, section. Uh, these are the preamps, and uh, again, this is the uh, this is the right channel. And this is the left channel over here, and uh, then again, you got your your real section. So uh, the later models were were solid state versions. So uh, these are uh, to me these are what you want if. Uh, if you want to uh, want that tube sound, and then of course the the real part of it too. So, uh, and a lot of people will use these for mic pre's. They don't even use them the tape section. Uh, they use them as guitar amplifiers. And I may uh, shoot another video showing you how how to do that. It's really easy and uh, makes a pretty good guitar amplifier for for really no modifications. But um, the first thing you really want to do with these is replace all these old electrolytic capacitors. Um, everything in this unit was, looks all original to me. Uh, and again, it was in good working condition. So, but, uh, electrolytic capacitors really need to be changed every eight or 10 years. At least that's what they say. So, uh, but all of these were in, in really good shape. They're not, uh, you know, bowed out or, or uh, leaking or anything like that. But, um, again, it doesn't cost that much. It's not that hard to do. And it, uh, it really needs to be done. So, and I've already done that, but again, I couldn't find a lot of information on, on doing this. So, uh, and I've, I've built guitar amplifiers and, and things like that. So I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this, but uh, so, you know, if you are not, familiar with dealing with the voltages, DC, AC, uh, things like that. You really need to take a lot of caution because you can, you can hurt yourself or you can kill yourself. Um, and, um, so that's my little, uh, cover my butt disclosure here. So, but, uh, again, the, the, probably the, the hardest thing with this was just, uh, this big, uh, multi filter capacitor, the original is a 20 plus 20 microfarad. Basically got two 20 microfarad leads. Um, one, two, and then your ground. So, and that went here. And you can see the difference. Or, sorry. <laughs> you can see the difference between the two. This is a, about a one inch, the original is. Um, there's the ring there. And then the new one is a one and three eighths inch. So, I couldn't find one inch anymore um so i was eventually able to find this and this is a 20 times four 20 20 20 20 uh 475 voltage um and then the originals were 350 working volts and 400 volts surge so this new capacitor is more than capable of of uh, handling uh this so and reason I bought a four is because there's also an additional two um, individual 20 microfarad capacitors. One was uh, down here tucked under this transformer um, between this lead over here and there. And then there was this one, which was this guy here. So these were the two old ones. And then I replaced this one with a with a J and J uh, 20 microfarad. And it's a, I believe it's a 500 volt so uh, but what I decided to do is just eliminate this one over here off of the board and I ran the lead that would have been here I ran it up so I'm using one of these uh, one of these uh, capacitors in here so and then the two brown leads that you see there um, were the original uh, the original two leads 
that, um, sorry, the video here, uh, those were the two browns there going to the red and then the, the black is the ground. So, so, uh, I have one additional 20 microfarad tab, uh, capacitor that I'm not using. It's just being left empty, but you can get a, a, a 20, 20, 20 capacitor also, but I bought the, the four combination just because I wasn't sure if I wanted to eliminate this one also, uh, I decided that I would I would leave this one here and not do that. So the price for the three, for the 20 microfarad times three, and the one for the four are basically the same price. So I, I did that. You can do the, the other. It just kind of depends on, on how you want to do it. So, and then the other thing is you're going to have to replace this mounting ring here for this capacitor. Um, and, but fortunately you don't have to drill any, drill any new holes into the chassis. Um, here's the, the other side of the, uh, the front side. You can see these are this hole and this hole were the original one inch for the, uh, for the old mounting ring, which again is, is this. So that was, was there. And I found this, there's another hole in this chassis that was already there. It's just an empty hole that fits the new one and three eighths inch mounting ring perfectly. So, uh, which is nice. The only other thing you're going to have to do is the original mounting rings are, are held on with uh, rivets. So you have to drill those rivets out, and, but they, they, they come out fairly easy. So just take your time and then and you'll be able to pop them out of there and then just I used uh, some screws with some lock nuts on them, and um, again, it's a it's, it's tight in there, but um, everything fits around it fine. The only other thing that you'll I had to do is you you'll have to grind off. If you can see in here, one of these uh, I don't know, it's like a dog ear, this little tab. Um, you have to grind off one of these. To get it to sit down up against uh get it to sit down up against this uh this top rail here so but again it, it's 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 not hard to do um and that's your so that's your main uh filtering capacitors there along with again there was one down here and this one so those are your your big ones there's uh four of them so in each each one it's the exact same thing uh, did the exact same thing to both sides, the left side and the right side. So, and then the only other air capacitors on the bottom, kind of hard to see, but, uh, these are these, uh, Sprague, um, capacitors. I believe there's a place four of them underneath here. Um, where you see these black Sprague's. Uh, there's a there's a couple more that I forgot to to, to do. I think there's this one right here, um, but uh, it's a one UF, pretty small. So I'm I'm not gonna worry about it right now. But I may the next time if I order some capacitors, I'll I'll change them out. Um, but the big ones are the are the are the are the big power filtering capacitors that you really need to change. And these others are, you know, I would do them while you're at it. So. Um, but same thing, it's, it's fairly easy. Um, you know, you just desolder the old ones, put them in its place, make positive that you keep your, your, um, polarity, your positive and your negative on these electrolytic capacitors in the right, uh, going in the right direction. If you reverse them, uh, they can explode and leak and cause, you know, probably cause a fire. So... Um, I would recommend you take a lot of pictures and, uh, notes. So, because again, if you reverse this positive and the negative, it can be a bad situation. So, um, but, uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, again, I, I may try to put another video together showing how you can use these as a guitar amplifier and, um, there's a few other issues that I've, I've had with this, um, that, um, uh, again, you may run into, um, another big problem with these, um, uh, there are, uh, under the, the play 
record and the fast forward and reverse um, are cams. There, there, there's four of them, two on top and two on the bottom. And these cams uh, control different functions and they can, uh, they basically fall apart over time. And these have those in it. Uh, there is a company out there that, that makes replacements. Um, I found on eBay, it's called a Tire, Tyree, Ikai cam set. And again, the, the M8 cams will fit. They're the exact same thing for this Roberts. So, um, and uh, again, I, I may try to put another video together showing you that too. Um, on mine, the, the top two cams um, were fine. It was the back two cams that that have basically disintegrated that I had to replace. So, um, so, but anyways, I hope this part helps. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments and hopefully this helps you guys out or if I didn't explain something <laughs> correctly, I'll try to uh, put a link in there for uh, where, I, where I got these, uh, these uh, capacitors. So well, it'll save you a little bit of time too. But uh, anyways, uh, take care. Thanks, bye.